Hello and welcome. In this video, I explain how you can use NFC DEX with the P3 application. This will only work for Android devices so far. NFC DEX are a really inexpensive way to identify your colonies. And you can buy them cheap at any electronic store and even in bulk for greater quantities. First, we select the hive we want to write on our deck. So in this case, the 1404 hive. Next up, on the top right, you see a button. It will open a drop down and then the share button. If you click on this, you see an NFC menu at the bottom. This will not be active if your phone does not support NFC. Simply click on right, hold the NFC tag to your phone and it will tell you if it was a success. You can also read out the content of the NFC deck by clicking on content. Um, try this again. It will show at the bottom the content. And here you see it's an ID to your hive and at the bottom the URL which is written on your deck. So if we now for example, starting the app and we first need to activate NFC. That's again in this drop down and this button. This button needs to be, this NFC button needs to be green, then it's active. Now we can scan our deck by holding it to a phone, to our phone. And we will be redirected to the 1404 colony. This is already really cool and allows quick access to colonies and their information. Next up, if you are in a quick tool or any other form with a hive drop down and you scan your decks, it will automatically select these colonies in your drop down. So if you scan multiple colonies, it will select them all here. This works in every form which has a colony drop down. So you can work really quickly by simply scanning the colonies you want to do an action on it. For example, a migration. If you have your colonies on the trailer, NFC tags visible, then you go to new migration and just start scanning your colonies. This is, as I said, a really great way to quickly work on the field with your colonies and don't use the don't need to use the drop down you can actually um, save on your nfc any url for example you could also save the link to your apiary and again, as I said, this only works currently with an Android device, not with an iPhone so far. Thank you very much.